So guys, I'm going to start off by moisturizing my hair. So this is just um, a bottle of water and then detangling my hair just by combing it through, making sure it's not tangled. And so after that, I made a part like in the center of my hair. This part that I made was slightly big. It was supposed to be a little bit smaller than this, but um, I'm sure you still get the, uh, you still get the point uh, when I'm done. I felt once I was done at the end of this uh, pattern, I felt like I should have made the um, front here or rather the front line a little bit smaller. Yeah, so I got a small bobby pin just to make sure that the back hair does not um, mix with the front hair. You know that happens a lot with natural hair. So then I made a flat twist. I cruise through this because I didn't want to waste your people's time so you can either either make a flat twist or you can do a cornrow whatever uh, you think is easy and then you just secure it um, with a bobby pin again just to make sure it does not detangle and then yeah it's as easy as that so then you remove the back bobby pin and then you just comb through the back hair you want some if you want you can comb through like what I was doing my hair is short so you can comb through but if you don't want to comb through and you want it to look a little bit shaggy you can just lift the hair so that means you don't pass the comb through the hair like you just I don't know if I if I'm explaining properly but you don't pass the comb through the hair completely so you just raise the hair you just raise it and then if you want you can do baby hairs I love baby hairs so I was there looking for some gel or something that I can use to lay my baby hairs if you don't like baby hairs <coughs> I don't know I'm choking yeah so if you don't like baby hairs then yeah we just leave it like that and you're good to go I don't know why my makeup was looking like this on this day this makeup wasn't a lot you guys but in this video I can tell it looks like I had put a power of foundation I think it's the lighting the lighting has been betraying me recently and I, I need to invest in like some good lighting and I don't know a better camera but anyway for now let's not even think about that because that is like a far-fetched dream <laughs> Yeah, so okay, uh, the next pattern is um, you make a front part like that so you can go around again with this one. I felt like I made a big part, I should have again made it a bit smaller. So, but if you do like it bigger, it is okay to make it big. But personally, I felt like uh, once, I, uh, um, once I was done, I still felt like I should have made it a little bit smaller yes so you separate the hair you can use anything so that it won't uh, mix with the hair behind so i just use that little uh, hair band or whatever it's called so i comb through and i think it's better you use a brush like this one to make sure that your hair is laying flat properly yeah just like that and then i got a string you guys i usually use strings to tie my hair i feel like using this modern i don't know like you know like the one that i've used uh, in front of my hair it doesn't secure my hair the way i want it to be secure so i usually yeah, just try to use a rope or some sorry not a rope like cotton or thread or whatever just something that i can tie you know so yeah after that you still go back and lift your hair but I, what, like what, what I was doing was not lifting. I was actually combing through the hair. So then you're going to need a bandana or a small head wrap. Something that can just nicely fit your head. You fold it properly to a required size or a suitable size. So I made it as small as that. And then you just... Yeah, tie it like that. Yeah, avoiding the hair 
in the front and also avoiding the hair in the back so you make sure it is secure but don't make it too tight so that you, you your blood is really not flowing if you don't want you to die we're not trying to lose a life we're just trying to comb our hair <laughs> yeah so yeah then you just um, hide those long parts like at the back like that so you do that for both sides yeah okay this makeup is like bothering me or rather the lighting is just bothering me anyway yeah so yeah that's like the final look i love this look it's like you know it's like a schoolgirl kind of look very baby girl very very baby girl kind of look yeah yeah so i loved it then we go to the third look the third look again you're going to need a brush if you have natural hair especially short hair you will need a brush if you want your hair to look nice you need a brush like the one that i'm using so you get a something that you can tie i was using some elasticated uh string so you just tie your hair like that secure it so this one as you can see it's not like going like leaving the hair backwards it's like on top of my head you know so like you tie the hair on top of your head and then you just lift your hair like that yeah and it's also very simple like i feel like people really overthink doing natural hairstyles it doesn't have to be complicated it can, it can just be something as simple as this and you are good to go so yeah i was just making sure that my hair is nicely laid and has a good shape on top of my head you know done and that's my final look i also love this look very simple also not complicated easy to do this one is the, the fourth one is very similar to the last the previous one but for this one you're going to see where the difference is so when you tie this one you're not going to have the hair on top of your head it is going backwards so it's like that so the puff or the hair is going to go backwards so it's lying flat and that's the difference between this one and the previous one also very simple you guys don't have to complicate anything it doesn't have to be that complicated natural hair is already complicated on its own and we don't have to complicate the styles it just has to be something that's cute something that's easy to do something that anybody can do so yeah this one was also a very good look so you always remember to lift your hair like that and again if you want the back part to be shaggy you can use a gel and roll the hair back from which is behind and then you're going to have a shaggy look be, um, on the back at the back of your head and then yeah I went in with a little bit of gel just to make sure that the front part the hair in front is snatched like flat lying flat like it's asleep yes and that's the final look love this one as well very simple very chic and yeah so the next one is a little bit more involving than the other ones that i've just done so for these ones you're going to have to part your hair like that yeah and then you're going to do two corners or flat twists on both sides of your hair so i made two on this side and also made two on the other side so you're going to see what the final look was so i was doing flat twists because i'm not so good with corners i think flat twists are easier and they are faster and anyone can do it i'll definitely make a video of how i do my flat twists it's not complicated yeah so you secure it from behind so that it won't come out just like that exactly like that so that's the the second one 
so I did this to actually both sides of my hair and by the way it doesn't have to be neat these don't have to look like they were done by a professional no you just have to in fact a rough look actually looks better that's what I think like if it's too clean to knit it looks like you're trying too hard but a rough look just makes the natural look even look more chic you know so yeah i did the same actually to the other side on, on my other side i wanted to see what it would look like like to so just have this on one side but i didn't like how it turned out so i went ahead and did this just to the other side as well secured it and that's like my final look right there it looks like a little more hung in front and yeah that's like the look the other one guys is like love your hair love what your natural hair looks like this is just like an afro look very easy i just raise my hair just like that and i'm going to go i've actually gone out like that if your hair is beautiful you have to be confident if your hair is short you still have to be confident and once you show some confidence everybody's going to love your look yeah, so the other look is this one also very similar to the um, to something that I've done before except this one your hair is going on the side you know so it's not going backwards like the other one and it's not going to be on top of your head like the other one that I also did this one you either if you're comfortable to push your hair on the left you push your hair to your left if you want your hair to go to your right you push your hair to your right so you can see me and I'm only I'm just pushing from the same side I'm not doing this to the other side I'm just trying to push it or to go to my left side of my head I got a bit of gel to just make sure that it was lying flat and yeah so hope you've enjoyed this video love you guys